Rajiv, what I've been waiting to happen, happened today. We had a guest that said how they're utilizing chat GPT that I know is going to shape the way I use it for the rest of my life. We're joined by Robert Allen, a top performing realtor from Atlanta, Georgia. Let's get to this episode. Welcome to Real Estate AI Flash, the podcast dedicated to real estate professionals to demystify AI and give you practical strategies that you can apply to your business today. I'm your co-host, Rajiv Sajak. And the other co-host, Jimmy Burgess. And we are excited for you to be a part of this. If you haven't had a chance yet, make sure you go out and that you subscribe to the podcast. Also, we would really appreciate if you could leave us a review. It helps us spread the message that as a real estate community, we are stronger together. Now let's get to this episode. Welcome to another episode of Real Estate AI Flash. This one's going to be a good one because we got a guest on our podcast. It's one thing about talking about AI. We got a practitioner of AI that's growing his business. And we have Robert Allen of the Robert Allen team from Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, Georgia Properties, Atlanta, Georgia, as I would like to call it, Hotlanta, Georgia. And so welcome, Robert, and love to have you say a quick hello and a little bit of your background and we'll dive in. Cool. Yeah. So I'm Robert Allen here in uh, Atlanta, native Atlanta. I have two parents that were brokers. My dad was my first broker. My sister's my current broker. And I've been licensed myself 22 years. Nice. You know, Robert, I, this is something we had joked about, Robert, is, is that I'm, I am also son of broker or SOB, as some people try to say it. But, you know, what's cool about this is, is that it is generational. You know what I mean? And I feel like sometimes I come into certain situations not just with my own experiences, but the experiences of a whole other generation of my mom being in the business that just brings a little bit more depth. And I, and I have to tell you, you know, when we first talked in person, um, like, or, you know, virtually like this too, is, is I could tell there was a depth there that's a little different than most people. So that's what I'm excited about this conversation today is that, uh, you know, I've been following you for a while on social media and just appreciate everything you do and the way you serve your clients. And you know, this whole idea of how chat GPT and artificial intelligence is helping you do that at a higher level. And we first talked, that was something that was really interesting to me. Why don't we start with this? I think a lot of people think about the task or the, you know, the specific things that it does. Do you want to talk about how you've utilized it with your mindset and even visualizing your business and how it'll look going forward? Yeah, sure. So I think most people watching this on some level want to have a great real estate career. And obviously using AI to help is good, but I do have a history. And my dad was my first broker. He started, opened his office in 1978, and he was always the top salesperson. And even when he was the broker, he was the top salesperson. And the difference with my dad is his mindset. He just felt that he could do it. And I remember there's stories of him going into the basement and screaming from the top of his lungs, I'm the greatest salesperson in the world. But when it comes down to it, my first day on the job, he literally handed me a phone book and said, call people and ask them if they know anyone looking to buy or sell. There's no technique. There's no AI. That was his old school way, but it was his mindset. So I started playing around with ChatGPT of how can I do a visualization and get some kind of mentoring with some things I'm struggling mindset wise to you know be successful like my dad. He didn't have tips or tricks. He just had a mindset of I'm going to do it. And uh, that's what I did. I played around with it and uh, started asking ChatGPT some questions about how can I visualize this person I'm trying to be with the results I'm trying to have. Yeah. Robert, let's go a little deeper on this and talk a little bit about how you may have structured that. Because when we were talking about this, I've actually played with this since you told me what you were doing. Mm-hmm. And it's it's amazing to think that you could actually tap into the writings and the past, you know, types of things that are on the internet from leaders that may have passed away in the past or people that were influenced in your life, and then have them actually have ChatGPT prepare you something in their words of how they would coach you. You want to speak exactly kind of what that looked like as far as the promptings on that? Yeah. So I try to prime it with where I know I'm going. Instead of just asking the question of help me come up with a visualization, when you're dealing with ChatGPT, you got to think a little bit different. So I started asking questions about, are you familiar with the Bible? Are you familiar with John Maxwell and some of his teachings? There's somebody named uh, Joe DiPerenza or something like that that's really into that type stuff. I start asking questions about that. And I asked ChatGPT, what advice would they give to someone about visualization and things along those lines? And not only was I building towards where I wanted to go, 
I was getting an education along the way. Instead of listening to hours of podcasts and reading all their books, I got their specific advice with what I was asking them right then and there. And then I was start able to start asking the questions about, okay, here are my goals. Based on the advice of all these people, what are some things you would have me put into a visualization to be effective? Yeah, Robert, when you told me about this, I told you, I said, this is something I'd never thought about. And I'm just sitting here thinking, you know, we're able to utilize that and those people that influenced us. But imagine like all of the blog posts, all the all the video stuff you've done, all the social media you've now done. Imagine what this looks like for your grandkids to have whatever it ends up being as far as artificial intelligence to almost have a conversation with you in the future and based on all the production we're doing. So that's what gets exciting to me is, is to have that capability to tap into a lot of those things. And when you, I will say, you know, Rajiv and I've been talking to a lot of people. That was the first time I started seeing it from a personal level of not how it affects me now, but how it can affect generations to come which was so exciting to me. So I can't thank you enough for that. I know we, look, we could sit here and I could talk to you about this all day long, <laughs> but I know we got a couple other things I want to, that I know we want to get to. Rajiv, you want to kind of transition us into that next yeah, phase? Yeah, you know, what that. I love about that piece of visualization and mindset, Jimmy and Robert, a lot of people talk, agents that are listening to this podcast work in their business, but this was about working on your business in terms of developing yeah. the right mindset and visualizations. That was awesome. The other thing that Chad GPT is really good at, as you know, is specific task-driven exercises that you know you need to do. I call it mundane tasks sometimes, drudgery, that don't make real estate fun. So what are some of those things that you've sort of leveraged chat GPT for? I personally think it's a smart assistant, but it could be a dumb assistant if you don't know what you're doing, right? Mm -hmm. It is very smart. And what are some of those tasks that you outsource? Love to hear about that. Yeah. So, I mean, I'll bring it back to even my dad in the office where growing up, I got to see the difference between agents that made it and agents that didn't. And I've always just been curious, figuring out psychology and stuff. And so working on yourself is working on your business because you're the one that produces. Even if you're in a leadership role, you are the one that gets the outcome. So from the understanding people or even trying to understand my, myself, one perspective is if it's easy for me to do, I'm going to do it. It's going to get done. It's going to get done first. But if it's something that I'm not familiar with, or I don't have a lot of skill in, or it just, I can do it, but I got to slow down and think through it. It's not going to get done. So chat GPT has helped me be more effective because those things I dreaded, I just ask it to do it or to help me do it. It's like uh, writing something. Sometimes you don't know what to write, but you can ask questions and get it. So I did. I know that I have done expires and, and for sale by owners before in the past. And I know that I struggled with follow up. So I started asking chat GPT advice about follow up and different things. And I know that I need to do a 12 week mailing program. I know I need to have some emails going out. And I was able to ask it, you know, if you were such and such coach, Tom Ferry and Tom Hopkins, and you've been in real estate for a very long time, you know, old school, new school ways, ask it really deep questions of real estate related and then allowing it to kind of look through the sources and then say, hey, OK, what would be a good 12 week email campaign for a follow up to a for sale by owner based on what we just talked about? And I got some really good ideas. And that way I didn't have to think I don't have to take all 12, but it got me going to where I could say, OK, this is what this email needs to be about. This is what this postcard needs to be about. And I've solved the problem of, hey, I could get the appointments, but I just never followed up. Well, this is going to help me follow up. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. Robert, with that, I mean, obviously, I think that's one of the highlights of this is, too, is, is that, like you said, you may not use all of them, but it's going to get the creative juices flowing and get you an idea and a pattern that you're working on that probably you know, make something that could have taken four hours, you can do it in 30 minutes in, in some cases, which is uh, an incredible efficiency where you can get back to serving your clients. The other thing I, I love when we were talking before was, is where you were talking about kind of like what Rajiv said, where a lot of agents are working, you know, in their business, op, but not on it. And one of the things I thought was interesting is the way that you uh, analyzed your past sales to come up with some data. You want to talk about what you did to get that data and then what you how you utilized it once it was able to provide it for you, if you don't mind. Yeah, sure. So, you know, I think I sell more houses in the summer. <laughs> <laughs> right. I typically have some spending money then. So right. it was just a spreadsheet, an old spreadsheet my broker had given me about some of my sales in the past few years. And um, I knew some other things. I had a conversation actually when Deanne Golden hired me was about increasing my price range. And I, I know I'm selling more expensive homes, but what does it really look like? And so all I did was upload a spreadsheet that had the... Uh, price, the date, and maybe one or two other details about the sale. And I started just asking it questions. It was able to tell me what percentage of my sales happened each month in detail. 
when I asked it, you know, how has my average price range increased? It was able to, instead of me thinking of the Google formula to put in like I used to, and I just put it in there, asked it questions and it analyzed it for me. And then so cool, those numbers look good. I was even able to ask it, can you put that in the graph? Mm -hmm. I didn't like the graph. I asked it to add this data point to the graph. And so it just really got my mind even going with, you know, you might even be dealing with certain clients that are super analytical. You don't have to be analytical. You just get the data uploaded in there, ask it some questions, ask it. You can ask ChatGPT if you were a very analytical engineer with advanced degrees and considering selling your house, what kind of data would you want to know as it pertains to past sales? That's That's so good. That's really, really good. Have you utilized that? I mean, obviously, that's something that I think as we go along, that's like one of those ideas I, I will definitely be testing on my own because now that you've said that, I mean, that's what I love about this is, is there's so many different ideas and so many different ways with the fresh technology. Robert, as you're going forward, is there anything like that you can think of or that you would like to share with everybody as we get ready to kind of wrap up? Anything that's stood out for you? Uh, when it comes to, to chat GPT, I'm, I'm a little bit of a uh, geek in that I just like technology, but ultimately... I would say use it as a as a time machine. If it's something you can lean on to speed up getting to where you're ultimately going to go. When people ask me about brokerages, I always said it's it's really up to you as the agent. And you got to find the brokerage that's going to help you reach your goal that you're going to reach anyway and reach it faster. That's the whole point of being with a good broker. Well, I think AI is the same way. If you are the right kind of person to succeed or you want to be the right type of person to succeed, it's as simple as What's going to help me get there faster? And I think ChatGPT is a great answer to that question. All right, Robert. Well, I know that people have gotten a ton of value out of this. And also, I'm sure they are just waiting to figure out how they can get that referral out um, that they're sending to Atlanta over to you and your team. So what's the best way for people to reach out to you and uh, tell you how much they appreciate all you've offered in this episode? Sure, sure. Instagram is great. It's Robert the Realtor ATL, but it's uh, instead of a space between each word, underscore Robert the Realtor ATL. And I email for referrals as well. It's uh, Robert at RobertAllenTeam.com. Yeah, this has been great. Listen, uh, make sure you let Robert know how much you appreciate this. And uh, we will continue, Raj, even I will continue to find agents that are doing this in a very special way. And I, I just love Robert's heart of service and the way he does his business. So thanks again, Robert. And we'll talk to you guys soon. This podcast has been produced by TSC Studios. Music is courtesy of Soundstripe. Audio and video editing is provided by Noah Escobar. Graphic design by Melinda McKnight. And special thanks to Jordan Wilson of Your Everyday AI for the inspiration and expertise.